Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Slay the Spire. We're gonna keep trying on this, uh, you know, no uh, uncommons and no rares. I guess I'll take a curse for 250 gold. As long as we can hit a, you know, I like this path, it hits a couple elites. Uh, three elites, actually, if we wanted to. You know, uh, what I, uh, I wouldn't say I learned anything, because that's an admission that I didn't already know everything going into this, which is just cowardly. Um, and incorrect. What I was gonna say is, what I think I've, I've refactored my thinking regarding this specific issue. Uh, I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive if we're not gonna take uncommons and rares, which obviously we can't. Uh, about getting relics. So in particular, fighting uh, fighting elites, it gives you a free relic, assuming you don't die in the process, which is pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind uh, maybe spending more money on the shops on relics as opposed to what I traditionally do. Which, thank you. Which is uh, probably buying too many cards. It's something that's come up in feedback regarding my, my series uh, many times in the past. People say, NL, you respect the cards of the shop a little bit too much. It's not that you can't use them to reconfigure your deck a little bit on the fly, but you should also try to you know, I do, buy more relics. Let me finish my train of thought. Uh, I'm going to take Clash, and I'll tell you why. We do need to remove the curse, but I think getting free attacks is going to be a very uh, pivotal part of the experience for me here. We do have to remove the curse. Um, but even just the situa situation like that, being able to get a lot of value for zero cost seems to me like one of the ways we might be able to short circuit this challenge and make things work for ourselves. Uh, dude, there's a lot of good stuff here. I'm probably going to take the... You know what? Let's take the Iron Wave. We we've struggled a little bit with damage output. And like the easy money here is remove doubt. Um... Okay, here's the thing. It's my son. He's Ruka. Hello, Ruka. Welcome. Welcome. You don't want to be in here. It's not like anything bad's gonna happen. Give me Bottled Flame and start me with Clash. Let's see if we can make this tick. But it's just, it's warm in here and I'm just playing a, I'm playing a dang old card game, my friend. And now he, he uh, now Tomo wants in. Look at this, we got a whole little party going on here. None of y'all want to be here. I'm just going to be clear about this fact. Um, 14. So this... I think... I think we want to do it like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to do 16 damage to you next turn. It will happen. I think we got a pretty okay setup so far. Obviously... Yeah, we'll take Shrug it off. We can't rely on drawing a, a, a functional clash every single time. I respect you. I respect that a great deal. Um, yeah, we can't rely on always getting a workable clash, especially as we get more dazes into our deck. This this fight pretty much like hard counters us. Um, that's only 17 damage, but can live with it, I suppose. We are taking 13 right to the chin, but um, it's not so bad. So far. Hold on. I see my son, young Ruka. No, I saw you. He was eyeing up the power button on the computer. Like, this is where I I need to jump. Do not do it. <laughs> Ruka, you have a box. Tomo's already in his box. Why don't you just get into your box? I don't like my box. Why don't you like your box? Because Tomo's got a box too. See? It's a bad habit. You shouldn't be looking at other people to see if they have boxes to make you feel better. You should just be like, you know what? I'm happy we both have a box. Don't you fight in here. Don't you fight in here. I'm in the middle of something, okay? This is a probably one of the top three or four thousand Slay the Spire players on planet Earth. You're getting in my face. You're trying to uh, create a situation that's untenable for me. It's, on, it's not going to go well. All right, my son. I'm giving you temporary lap privileges. But I want you to know the only reason I'm doing it is because I don't believe that uh, you as a feline have the capacity to learn the behavior that I'm trying to impart upon you in a timely fashion. And scene. Uh, okay, this fight could have gone worse, remember? Relic, not necessarily amazing. I definitely think we do like draw here, so I'll take the pommel. And we're we're gonna go straight into that other elite fight. The only question is what gets upgraded. Clash only gets four damage, so let's go bash. 
Bash over Clash in this situation. Now this would be a... And then because we upgraded uh, <laughs> Bash, it would wake him up to, to play it. But Okay, let's not put six damage on him. That's just... It's not necessary. Um, we, we might as well Bash and Pommel, honestly. But this is going to be... Uh, we're going to take some damage here that might make it tough to fight one more Elite. We're going to weaken you. 13 damage. It's not that bad. We'll hit you with one of those. Keep the vulnerability up just so we have a better chance to, you know, get those clashes out there in the future. And I think this is a, a very fantastic situation right there. One thing... I don't think we need it. We definitely do not. Uh, one thing that we would really love to see is, is bigger attacks. Um... I think we definitely pop this. Now that I think about it, there's no way we're getting that. It, it didn't matter. Um, hold on. Do we really want another shrug? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we can make it happen here. Um, we, we need some bigger attacks because, I mean, Clash is good, but it, it needs to hit to work. Offering? Don't you dare! <laughs> Offering? Okay, we know we're not going to hit it. Combust, we'll just make sure we don't accidentally get it. Wild Strike, do we want it? Um, I, I mean, I think the answer is no, because it'll ruin uh, Clash in many opportunities. We can't afford to take impatience. That's a very risky sort of situation there. What do you got for me? Free Dex. Free, uh, it's uncommon. Don't do it. I'll take the free Dex. I'm, I'm really like, you know, if you got the cash, buy the Relic, I guess, is, is where my head's at right now. So we can't play... Great stuff. What was I gonna say? I was gonna I was gonna say we can't play the Clash, but we, we took a risk. And I think that it ended up paying modest dividends. We still, we struggle here. I mean, if you can't see how we're struggling here, then I, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, it's a pretty... It's a pretty simple concept. I, I struggle to put damage, like, down range on this guy right now. Who's our boss? Not Slime? Okay, Guardian? I'm, it makes me very happy I, I saved the Thorns potion. Can't take anything. Whetstone did hit Clash, which is, like, our best attack. It would have been nice if it hit Pommel as well, but you can't always get what you want, you know, brother? This one's looking a little spotty early, but I got high hopes. I genuinely, I think Clash and Body Slam actually work pretty well together. Oh, this is garbage. Um, don't draw a defend, please. Thank you. Dude, this is a great draw. You, you've done me an incredible service the likes of which you, you can't possibly comprehend. Um, so we can kill two enemies. Who needs to go? Certainly, uh, I mean, I... To be honest, both enemies that create weakness seem like maybe the first obvious get here, even though this guy's doing more damage. Two attacks kills him. And let's not even bother hitting this guy yet. We can just find a way to kill him in a single turn. This might work. I mean, this will work, by the way, but it also might. Don't hit Clash, you son of a gun, you didn't. I appreciate that more than you could possibly fathom. Um, this cat is... He doesn't like... He, he loves to be on the lap. Unless I've told him he can only be on the lap. And then he's like, dude, I don't want to be here. I want to be on the desk. What, do you think your lap's all that in the bag of chips? People still say that, don't question it. Okay, so right off the bat, give me one of these. One of these. Can't complain about turn one. Didn't let him get uh, too stacked here. Iron Wave is always going to be worth a little bit. And uh, I'm going to strike instead of pommeling because we might. Uh, we don't want to draw through Bash, which is now our last remaining card. But that's it's actually totally fine. Um, everything's going better than okay right now, without a doubt. It is going to be hard to put up 20 block. Never mind. It's probably just about the easiest task I ever could have imagined. We gotta hit him for one this turn. Be a great turn uh, to land a bash, but life goes on. 
We will definitely, like, the parameters are tilted well in our favor for this fight. So that's, we finally got the dream world there. We did lose one HP, but might surprise you. Not all that concerned about score. Still more than fine. I was just gonna say, another bash. Doesn't, I mean, I guess we'll hit him for three, but... Uh, we could probably just rush him at this point, but we'll, we'll see how the, the chips shake out here. 21, we'll smack him one of these. And I should have thought that one through a little bit. I mean, this is not, uh, and, and we're learning this as we go, I guess, but it's not really an easy challenge. At least I'm not having an easy time with it. Now, mind you, I'm doing it all as exclusively one character uh, without ever examining whether or not that's the right path. Why did I even look? Um, and certainly, I think Sozu is the dream here. Four energy seems extremely advantageous. Okay, 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 okay. Just saying, I gotta focus a little bit. So, I do think it maybe behooves us, which is a fancy word for would benefit in this case. Um, it behooves us. Wow. Well, the good news is we're not taking any damage. The bad news is <laughs> Clash uh, with the vulnerability didn't have an opportunity to accomplish really anything at all. Um, don't even true grit. Just just defend, strike, body slam. That's totally fine. Behooves us to fight elites is what I was going to say. Because I think, you know, short of... Uh, I'm gonna let him hit me for 16. You're gonna be like, what are you doing? Well, he's only gonna hit me for 10, but I'm gonna let him do it so I can get the bash on him. That way, there's a very low chance that he gets away with my my capital. You know what I mean? Anyway, what I was gonna say is I think one of the ways we, we make it through this is, uh, is elite kills, which give us relics, so. I think anger. I know we're building the same deck again and again, but I think anger plus uh, plus clash work pretty well for us here. So I will become cursed, um, and then immediately remove said curse. <laughs> Brimstone's pretty interesting too, but I uh, a little nervous, I guess. You know what? Give me the max HP as well. I'm ready to let it let it fly here. Hey, Ruka, you can't be on the desk, my son. You can't be on the desk. Attain a relic, become cursed. I'm willing to go for it, dude. Thanks thanks for the anchor. And then, uh... Yeah, yeah, let's... We can opt out of this elite fight afterwards. Uh, sadly, of course, nothing here is going to do anything for us, but... Um, my hope is that maybe we'll get a chance to exhaust the curse. How do I feel about these guys in general? Eh, I think it could be worse. I would really, I, and I know that this is A20 hangover talking, basically, but I would really prefer to not have to deal with the wounds being added to my deck. Even though he's way less bad about it. I'd rather just avoid the consequence of that in its entirety. That's my hope and dream. So a shrug, pommel, you're not going to cause me any problems. Uh, I'm going to strike and then true grid, just so we exhaust a defend for certain. And everything seems totally fine uh, to me right now. Not going to kill you, unfortunately. We're going to take six more damage. Does it put us in a position where we have to rest before the elite fight? No. Um, sadly, cannot take any. Um, it might put us in a position where we want to rest. Dude, pen nib could be pretty sick. But I think we're I think we're gonna upgrade and just let it ride. That's that's my two cents on the subject. I really think if we're not gonna take on commons and rares, we gotta make sure our the cards we have are are solid. We're getting a nice little cache of relics here. I got very few complaints to be honest. Um, because of Gremlin Horn, I actually think. Uh, we might be able to make something happen here. First off, we're taking no damage, so don't be stupid. Definitely go for this guy. There's 15. We draw. Um, and then we might as well go for you. 
You are gonna die in two turns, just a Mercury Hourglass. We can, you know, prioritize target selection based on that. But I think what we're gonna do is just crack you with a little anger. And then we'll do three more attacks. I definitely would not say we have like a dream deck, but I think that is going pretty well, dude. Energy potion. I will almost always be content to take that body slam. Let's see how this goes. This will be a real indicator of, of our chances for success in the future. So we want to start with lowest attack. Can't even play Clash. That's a real bummer. We're only taking five damage, which is not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna... Ruka, you're gonna go up on the desk, okay? I, Because that's life, you know? You tell the cat not to go up on the desk. You're, you're just kidding yourself at the end of the day. But you better not touch the keyboard. Because if you, this one could be the win, brother. Pen nib is going to crush you. This one could be the win. So I just, I'm going to put you right there. And then lay down, please. I don't want to have to play the whole game on the preview window. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. We could take Sword Boomerang, but... I think I'm going to skip the Elite because I'm afraid. What do you think about that, Ruka? He's happy he's up on the desk. Yo, you gave me a curse, you cowards. I still have another curse to remove. It's suboptimal. Good news, though. We did get to play Clash. This guy is a little touchy, but, you know, no biggie. Catch you with that. Then I gotta think. Is it a bash? No, I think it's a shrug defend. Oh, especially if you get anger out of it. Shrug defend. Oh, but then the body slam's not upgraded, you fool. Bad play. Very bad play, but check this out. Okay, curse, be gone. Pen nib next turn. So you're saying there's a chance. There is no chance. There is no chance. Dump that, though. So the thing is, I'm still going to hit you for 12. Even though it doesn't even punch through your block. Your block's not going anywhere. Sadly, for, for everybody involved. Um, we're going to need the rest before the boss fight. I'm tell you, I'm glad I didn't fight the Elite, I think. I feel like the deck is in crisis, um, but is at like its most balanced point right now. <laughs> I don't wanna, another clash while we have two curses it seems non-functional. Um, ooh, that's some good stuff. Sure, I, I will just end you. Um, another clash while we have two curses seems really bad, and I think two body slams is, is just about enough to be, uh, to be pretty pleased with where we're, we're standing, I suppose. Um, I gotta be honest, to me, as of right now, this is not helping, by the way. Uh, this seems like another die to the second boss sort of run. Which makes sense because I've essentially constructed the deck to be a carbon copy of every other deck I've taken up to this point. Play it? Play it. We're taking no damage. That's good. Get that clash out there. Who knows? You know, at the end of the day, good draw could make a big difference. Not saying it will. At least we're getting closer to pending. Um, but could make a big difference. I think maybe we're like slightly better on defense than usual. We seem to be able to put up a little bit more resistance to this guy early, which is advantageous. I do like to just, I mean, if we could purge a basic defend, I think it makes our life a little better. Okay, draw. Thank you for not drawing a curse. Draw. This could be a whole heck of a lot worse. Get him. That was our pen nib. Yeah, we should have used it on Clash, but... We're taking two damage and, and being made frail for the rest of our... You know, pitiful existence, but... 
yeah, we're gonna die again. That's fine. We'll we'll fit another one in here. Um, so we live with one HP. He's gonna take a turn off. We really need to bash him this turn to have any chance, I think. Okay. I w wouldn't say that I necessarily expected it to happen, but here we are. Um, I still think we have zero chance, but we'll give it a shot. I don't know though, dude. We kind of... Um... I mean, I feel like I'm in a tough spot because literally every time that I've made it this far, the... the... I mean, every time I've done this challenge at all, the deck has uh, died on the second boss. But I'm willing to give it one more shot before we try out another challenge. Admittedly, I'm just doing the same thing more or less over and over. But you never know, dude. You never know when the relic is going to come out and just, you know, it's going to body you. Or body them. Go down to a slightly thinner deck. What's the importance of a slightly thinner deck this early? Um, I feel like maybe I have disrespected Bash. The co to be fair, and I always say this even though it may or may not be true, but to be fair, um, those curses came at a really inopportune time. You know what? Give me a, a little extra killing power early here. If we didn't have those curses, maybe our clash works a little bit easier. Who knows? And by maybe, I mean definitely our clash works a little bit easier. But, you know. I'm just trying not to get too far up my own butt here, if you know what I mean. Alright, I can feel the, the serotonin and the dopamine leaving the system a little bit. Let's bring them back. We could take Havoc, but I, I don't know what to do with it, to be honest. So, um, let's not and say we did. Uh, honestly, turn one... Yeah, you know, we're at a we're at a standstill. That's fine by me. Now you're doing twelve damage. Now you're doing two damage, but you frail me, right? No, you slime me? Very rude. What do you think this is? The Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards? We'll feel content to put vulnerability on you to go down one HP after the burning blood heal, and you're dead. Fair trade, I'd say. I will take another pommel. It's a pretty good card. Remove transform upgrade. We can't afford to transform. Let's upgrade our bash. I do respect. If you don't think I respect removal, I'm. You know, I feel content to say you ain't been watching. You know, I've been I've been building thinner and thinner decks. Uh, trying to at least. This fight's gonna be pretty bad. Um, yeah, we're not we're not getting our gold. Unless we draw Bash. I'm trying to think of if, if it's even possible. We just we just don't have the damage output. Came close. One more energy we would have had you. So, I mean, Perfected Strike is, is tempting. But... It's tempting and I'm going to do it. I, I, I do think we need Killing Power. Bash has been upgraded, so I think we might as well wake you up. Then you get him. I'm gonna hold off on the potion just for now. I don't think we need it in the in the immediacy of the moment. Go ahead, take me down to 439. I don't care. You're dead, like ASAP. Pommel into pommel into not perfected. Didn't matter. We got gotcha. you. Fossilized Helix is an incredible relic for us. Dude, I think two Perfecteds will actually work. Don't at me. I know you're like, this is never going to work. Watch it happen, okay? First off, damage you do to me is irrelevant. Didn't draw Perfected. Next turn, give me Perfected. You didn't give me perfect. You're a coward. You gave me it on that turn. You're not a coward any longer. I'm still a little upset, though. Um, okay, you got to go. We'll take five damage. That's still a heal at the end of the fight. Now we got something going on here. Everything else, just be very careful about what you add. I, oh, dude, this is so much combat though. I think we are making ourselves better by upgrading our perfected strikes ASAP. But what else do we need to make this deck tick? That's happy flower is pretty close to what I need. It's one third of what I need to give you a little teaser. 
I need extra energy. That's the big one. It could come in the form of extra energy from a boss relic. It could come in the form of Gremlin Horn, for sure. And the flower, again, on occasion, will allow us to play both perfected strikes or a perfected and a bash in the same turn. But, like, we got a, we got a solid freaking setup here. Three perfected strikes scares the crap out of me a little bit. I'll tell you, if it were upgraded, I would probably grab it. <laughs> but it ain't, so... Uh, by the way, we had extra energy thanks to Happy Flower. That's my bad. We still got him, but... Anger? I, I don't think we need it right now. And, uh... I definitely do think a Shrug is in order. You know, toss me another Pommel. I know it's... It, it, we got a, a thicker deck than maybe we'd like. Can't really afford to transform a card, in my personal opinion. And, uh... Start upgrading these Pommels. So, this is a much more attack-focused deck than we've had before. Not bad. Definitely not a bad thing. We just have to be wary of the fact that, you know, what do we need predominantly on the next floor? Well, the ideal outcome for sure would be, uh... I'm just thinking, okay? I was hoping to draw, like, a shrug. <laughs> Instead, our defend is going to save us one energy, or one damage. Amazing. Um, four energy. Easy, easy money. Um, we have to be focused on, if possible, upgrading our defense on the next floor, is what I've been trying to say, but struggling to get the words out. So, if we just draw a um, couple attacks next turn, you're probably dead. Obviously, one perfected would do it, but there you go. Easy, easy, easy. Now, can't take any of that course we do get an energy relic um i think i'm content to give enemies extra strength they're all energy relics um uh, upgrading cards is it's pretty advantageous i mean so is the birds not killing you but <laughs> i think i can make it through i hope i can make it through um and I, i'm feeling like this is probably the strongest chance we've had so far the only real bummer is uh Enemies that attack multiple times. You know, it's, it's a yikes from me, dog. We drew both perfecteds at, like, the worst possible time. Ah, you forgot about the dang old, uh... Let's go. Forgot about the dang old, uh, artifact, dude, that protects you from the first bit of damage you were gonna take. Not that it matters, because we got through it just fine anyway. Although we did use a potion. Honestly, we don't need another pommel. Let's be realistic. Headbutt. It's it's decent for sure, but I actually feel like I'm content. I actually I'm gonna cut a defend, but it 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 is with a little bit of hesitancy. Lose Helix or lose Philosopher Stone? Absolutely not. I don't want an extra rare cards. That would be one of the worst moves I ever made in this series without a, a single doubt in my mind. Let's draw first. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, tons of energy there. Another True Grit, I think, is, is acceptable without a doubt. We need more blocks. We keep removing our... Uh... Give me 90 gold. And then I'll leave. Um, we keep removing our basic defense. We're replacing them with better versions. At least our intention is to replace them with better versions. But there's there's no guarantees, you know? Okay, so we have four energy. We don't take damage this turn. It's a great start. Um, we don't... Yeah, we don't... We Sorry, we could take damage. We just don't take damage if only one enemy is attacking. I don't want to get confused about that. I think I will make an effort to fight the elite on this floor. Uh, in contrast to... We don't really want to draw a perfected here. In contrast to every other time we've been through here, I don't think we've really had a good opportunity to be confident about our elite fights. This is a, an exception. I definitely feel like we got a chance here. Um, I think another sh shrug is more than acceptable. And I think in... Response to that, we'll also cut a basic defend, keep ourselves at a very strong 15 card deck. Or a, a, an increasingly strong 15 card deck, shall we say? I think that's fair. 
Now, you that's a tough elite fight to have right at the get-go here, I'll admit, but... Um, I actually think that this is an okay situation to just ice you. Because your vulnerability uh, is... It doesn't affect me here. And we didn't draw a perfected, which is gorgeous. We get four energy next turn. You are doing 20 damage. Five energy, I should say. That's right. Um, I mean, bash perfected is pretty good. You know what else is good? Um, bash shrug and then get perfected on the next turn. So we take zero this turn. Lovely. I wasn't convinced it was going to work. <laughs> so when it did, I was very happy. Very happy indeed. So, I, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna pretty much give you everything I got here. Next turn, we're getting the extra energy. Let's go vulnerable. This, uh, I'll hit you with another one of these two. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll hit you with the carnage. I, I don't think it's gonna ruin the... I don't think it's gonna ruin what we got going on here. You know, uh, challenge-wise, I should say. Uh, we're hoping for a perfected. Let's... There we go. This is an easy fight, actually. Bag of prep. I think I'm excited to see it. I'm loving the singing bowl right now, too. Um, remember, you don't take damage turn one. Not that it matters in this specific context. Basically, as long as we can draw bash perfected strike, perfected strike within our first couple of turns, nothing can stop us. Or No basic enemies can stop us, at least. I honestly, at this point, I don't think we need another shrug. No, I will not remove all strikes. Thank you for asking. Uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll upgrade our shrugs. We're, we're getting pretty close to a fully upgraded deck, to be honest. So, we have extra energy this turn. Obviously, we'll start Pommel. We'll go Pommel. <laughs> we'll go Pommel, by the way. There is Perfected. Um, but I think... Rather than perfected, you know what? Actually, we will perfect it. You know why? There's no point in bashing you, I think, because we're going to be fighting these guys mostly next turn. That's my my two cents on the subject. So definitely go like, yeah, yeah, shrug. Yeah, okay, beauty. Um, so we're going to ignore our first damage, which I think means that we won't take 19. Beautiful. All right, now you got to go, obviously. Sorry it had to be this way. No perfected back there, so we'll go like this, like this. You know what? Don't draw perfected. Thank you. Um, we might. Why? Why take damage if we could take zero damage? You know my perspective here. We got five energy this turn, so don't be dumb. Uh, I think I'd honestly rather have you be vulnerable for three turns and hit you with one perfected than hit you with two perfected with no vulnerability uh, outlook for the future. Got a draw. Huge draw. And... I mean... I'm of the opinion that neither of... The, whatever we played there is very unlikely to matter, but... What do I know? Right, no energy left, but that's fine. Uh, next turn we get five energy. He can't do anything to us. We're hoping, again, for the Perfecteds, which thankfully pretty much worked out according to plan. This time we don't want to draw Perfecteds. Until next turn. So, let's uh, let's true grit. I'll shrug. Thank you for not giving me perfected. I really appreciate it. Next turn we got good stats, and you're dead. We made it to the third floor. Feeling pretty good. Can't take any of those. Thanks for the HP. <sighs> Obviously, having five energy would be really nice. Are we willing to accept the cost of probably getting more curses to make that happen? I think the answer is absolutely yes. I don't think the timekeeper is that bad for us here. I, and I'm going to take a non-elite path, I think, when, whenever possible, because I feel like i got a pretty okay setup here. So we got five energy. If we kill one of these guys, the other one won't be doing any damage. So let's go ahead and accomplish that. That's fine. You know what we'd love to see is um, Gremlin Horn. I know I asked for it earlier, but six energy this turn, by the way. Um, Thirty, so we can definitely kill you.
It is going to be a little tricky to make sure we can get all these guys, to be fair. Like, you're not really a problem, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but how are we going to... How are we going to kill two enemies in the same turn, you know what I mean? Well, it, once we get them down to 24 HP, they're going to die in a single perfected. Which is pretty much what we've been doing here. So, all we need to do is, is wait for a turn in which we draw two perfected. And then have the energy base required to play both of them and they're both dead. In fact, this turn probably gets us there. Um, probably gets us there. Does not get us there, but gets us a little bit closer. Okay. You know, you... You know the expression. You can't always get what you want, dude. Sorry, Bash, but I really prefer to take no damage if possible. Two perfecteds, please? Oh, don't, don't mind if I do. Can't really deal with any of those. Not taking cards plus having Singing Bowl. Beautiful. Dude, honestly, I think we could use a third Perfected Strike that's upgraded in this deck now. It's not that we're not drawing it fast enough. I don't think that's an issue. Um, I'm going to remove our final basic defense and replace it with an Iron Wave. I just want to make sure we got no... Uncommon cards. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's just literally a strictly better version. We have six energy. Good stuff. Let's... And we're not taking damage, so let's try to draw Bash. No Bash. Okay, that's fine. We'll just kill you next turn instead. I genuinely, for sure, think this one has a chance. Uh, I can't necessarily be... 100% confident is even close to a guarantee, obviously. I will tell you one thing. If we draw perfected strikes, it's going to be real hard for this guy to deal damage to us. As long as we can keep this artifact alive, or let me rephrase, the longer we can keep this artifact alive, the happier we're going to be. Doesn't really matter. Oh, we don't have energy anyway. So yeah, I mean, I think we've got a, a real genuine chance here. I would love to draw Bash, but no real point in trying for it here. Oh, I'm starting to feel, starting to feel the neurotransmitters. You know what I mean. They're coming out. They're going like, you did a good job. Be proud of yourself. No Bash. Thank you. Don't even play the Pommel. It's not necessary. I mean, it's not necessary to play anything at this point because of the artifacts, so. Good fight. An upgraded shrug is pretty tempting, but I feel like we're we're at at some point you have enough slash too much, right? And I think we're kind of getting to that point right now. I think our deck is very chef's kiss right now. Bash. I don't think we should look for anything else because we we can't play a perfected on top of it. So let's just I will draw just because that's our best attack. And you know what? Actually, I think I'm wrong. I think we do play a, a Bash now that we've drawn it. And then just, I mean, yes, we lo we lost two of our uh, our Perfecteds. I forgot we had a third, actually. Now that we have three, we don't have to be so despondent. Oh, you gotta love it. It's our last turn of vulnerability, but still, this guy has done nothing to us. This turn, uh, he will hit us, but the maximum he can hit us for is 9. Which is suboptimal, but life goes on, right? Oh, dude, the draw is just absolutely crushing this. Okay. Don't want it. We don't need a headbutt. We draw fast enough anyway. These guys, uh, they hit hard, but they're not that big of a problem. And we have 6 energy this turn. It's very important. Uh, I'd prefer to keep... Our uh, artifact up, just because I, you know, yes, these guys are going to get plus seven strength, but in my eyes, that just means that, uh, you know, all the easier, or all the more value we pull out of a single uh, artifact in that case. So we have 19 block. My two cents, hit this guy, 
hit this guy, his block's gonna wear off. You got them both next turn. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Turns out you had a little bit more HP. I forgot. Um, they, they, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. N ah, you know what? First off, thread a needle. Lovely. Is there a shop? No. I thought about actually just skipping the chest, which I think in hindsight wouldn't have been the worst thing to do. What's our curse? It is bad. I wish I could say that it weren't, but it is. But thread and needle is also is a beautiful relic in the first place, so. Um, no need. No need. You look very familiar. Um, four energy equals that for sure. 26 damage. Now, this is the first time I've found myself being like, you know what? You got me. You got me on this one. I may have to rest before the boss fight in this case. We didn't take too much damage. We took enough for me to be like, congratulations. You know, what is it? You cheated yourself. You didn't learn. You didn't grow. You didn't risk anything. Still not great. I'm holding on to the potions. If we get a better potion, of course. I'm not a, you know, against using a better potion. I don't think we need another pommel. Just upgrade the one we got. Is it our first upgrade target? Why not? Now let's stay focused. We've come a long way. Uh... I at least appreciate the fact that we've every time we've had the opportunity, we've been able to get rid of pain. I hope that one of our remaining question marks is a shop. Fifty-six. This will be thirty-six ten. We gotta draw better. I don't know what better means in this context now that I think about it. Gonna take a little bit more damage. In fact, we're gonna take 18 more damage. Six energy this turn. Things are starting to fall apart would not be the word that I would use. I think it was a little insulting. Not be where I want them to be would be the words that I would use if I was trying to be a positive person. I think I'm happy with our existing relic set. Oh, there are no remaining question marks. Still, let's not freak out. Dude, I, it's so huge. Now, we, we lose the benefit that we had previously of uh, being able to hold the artifact until the 70 damage turn, but still, it's pretty good. Nothing to worry about. Is it worth drawing? Let's say no, because there's a perfected guaranteed to be drawn next turn. Which is going to be par for the course, now that I think about it. Um... This time I think we'll draw to try to get to a bash. Now we won't drop. Bash perfected guarantees no damage. So This time I will draw. I want to make sure we're able to get to a perfected for next turn, so the faster we can draw through, the happier we'll be. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, I feel like we've played very well up to this point. I'm I'm happy with myself. Let's uh, we should rest at this point for sure. We will pop the power. There's no doubt about that. Five energy. Um, it has to be demon form. Out of, out of all of the stuff that's available there, sure. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff, but but demon form is the is the main is the big kahuna twenty four damage and very little draw well I'll tell you do it like that seems like an okay turn to me I'm looking. Okay, so next turn, he's going to heal. 
We might as well play one more, I, as far as I'm concerned. Get that strength up so we have more room to work with next turn. We probably just want to take a turn off and, and draw appropriately. We're guaranteed to have Bash draw next turn, so I think on this turn, do nothing. You gain strength next turn anyway. Uh, bash perfected is what I meant. Okay, you're doing 30 damage. That's zero, as far as I'm concerned. Let's not draw. Um, well, let's draw. Thank you for not being perfected. Because draw was block in this case, seemed like the right call. Okay, so I mean, this is a gimme. And then draw perfected. Draw perfected. We win? Did we do it? Uh, def common sense. I just saw the achievement pop up, dude. Okay, two challenges out of the way. Uh, that one was fun, and I'm very happy that eventually a strategy that I was adhering to actually made it work. So common sense is this one right here. Beautiful. If you want to see our run history. Here you go. Lots of upgraded cards. That's all you need. Three times upgraded perfected strike. Three, tri three times upgraded pommel strike. Made it happen. Pretty easily, I might add. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!